not a Frisbee yet. What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here and I have teamed up with Intel and Seagate to bring you a video about how to get SSD level performance but the storage capacities of a conventional hard drive. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, they sent me their stuff. They sponsored today's video, but I am putting those claims to the test because I'm gonna get to the truth, the truth of this. Can you actually get hard drive capacity with SSD speeds and not break the bank, right? That's the best part. I don't know, let's find out. Today, we're gonna be talking about one specific task that it can do, and that is being a system accelerator, where it's not just a storage drive. I mean, technically, technically it is. But who would, who would buy a 16 gigabyte storage drive? You couldn't even put an OS on that. But what if you were to use this as a massive cache device for a conventional hard drive? Where instead of constantly seeking the hard drive for your most commonly used programs and files, games and whatnot, it actually accesses it right off of the Intel Optane mod module, which is plugged into M.2, which is much faster latency wise than even SATA SSDs, but it does it for a fraction of the cost. I mean, the 16 gig comes in right around 50-ish bucks at the time of making this video. And you can get a four terabyte Seagate Barracuda for right around 120 bucks. I think I might have your attention by now. It certainly got mine. So I decided to benchmark three different scenarios with this. We benchmarked just the hard drive. I think this is where a lot of people I think would start off. Uh, new system builders, this is definitely worth taking a look at as you, you definitely should. But I think I'm taking this from the perspective of I've got a low, uh, I've got a low budget. I don't have a lot of money to spend. I've got an existing hard drive that already has my OS on it. I don't want to spend a lot more money and start all over. So we benchmarked just the hard drive with a uh, clone of the SSD uh, operating system drive that is inside my test bench. So it's got about a year's worth of registry and stuff also cloned onto here. It's not a fresh install, which I thought was very important in testing. I wanted to see how well plug and play is on an existing system, not a fresh install. So all of the inherent slowdowns over time are definitely present on this drive. And then we took it and we installed the Optane memory using the installation guides, which you guys can find links to down at the description box of this video, where we installed the Optane, got it going, and then compared the results. So we took our hard drive and we did all of our tests twice. And the reason why we did that is, believe it or not, regular hard drives also have built-in cache, right? You've seen it before, 7,200 RPM, 64 megabyte cache. And so if you do the same task over and over and over and over on a hard drive, it does get faster. So we, we did multiple tests. We did two tests basically of all of these to see how well it improved. And then we did the exact same thing with the Optane memory installed. We did a baseline test on everything, went back through and did another test to see how it improved. Because Optane, just like a cache drive, is going to learn your behavior. It's gonna learn what hard drives, or it's gonna learn what files you're accessing, what programs you're launching, and it's gonna to start to store those on the cache drive rather than going all the way to the hard drive to get that information. So that's where a lot of the acceleration comes from. And then what we did just to see how well it compares to a regular SSD, which is quite a bit more expensive and quite a bit smaller than a standard hard drive. For instance, this guy right now, at the time of making this video is about 120 bucks, four terabytes. And for 120 bucks, you can only get about 256-ish, 240 gigs worth of SSD, which how big is Wildlands, 48 gigabytes? Right, it's like a, almost a quarter of your drive after the partition tables and stuff where you're gonna get one game and OS and some files on there and not have much room left, yeah. So then we tested it, like I said, on the SSD. And before I show the benchmarks, there's a couple of requirements you guys have to know though if you're setting this up for yourself. One, it requires Windows 10 64-bit. That's a requirement, can't get around that. It also requires Intel Optane memory motherboards, which you're gonna find basically in the Intel 7th gen series and KB Lake CPUs, so i5 and i7. Uh, in our testing here, we used the 7900X with an X299. Yeah, definitely not pulling any punches. We want the CPU trying to grab information as fast as possible so that the storage is truly our bottleneck at that point. Um, and then you're gonna also need to go and download some software to make it all work. So 64-bit Windows 10, uh, Intel 7th gen CPU, KB Lake CPUs, and an Intel Optane uh, ready motherboard, and of course, the module itself, as well as a hard drive to accelerate, or in our case, the four terabyte Barracuda. So with all of that talking out of the way, how well did it actually perform?
So if you're like me, when you first heard about Intel Optane, you might have started to think that that was just too good to be true. I mean, how the heck could this little module speed this guy up to give you SSD performance with the massive storage capacity of hard drives? Well, guys, you just saw on those benchmarks, that's exactly what happened. Now, how did it happen? How did it do that? Well, it's pretty simple. I think the best way to explain how this is really working is to just do a little bit of a demonstration. So Nick is going to be my hard drive, and right now I'm gonna be the CPU. And this right here is all the stuff we have stored on our hard drive. So right now, Nick, I need uh, that one file in the uh, one folder. Okay. I need that one file. Come Give on. me a moment. We got things that are waiting to happen here, man. I'm sitting here idle. Memory needs it. There we go, thank you, okay. And then the CPU does what it needs to do with it. But let's say we install the Intel Optane memory. So now I'm Optane, you're the hard drive, and I'm talking to the CPU that's over here. He's just off frame. Now the same thing's gonna happen, but what you're gonna notice is something a little bit different. Hey hard drive, uh, I'm Optane now, so I'm in between you and the CPU, and I need that one file. Okay. That one file. You know what? I need the file. Wait for it. Things are happening here, come on. Found it. Okay, there we go. So I got the file, I'm handing it off to the CPU. But I'm gonna hang on to this because we just used it and chances are we might need it again. Oh, you know what? The CPU needs that file again, but I got this. Here we go. Cool. Oh, wait, the CPU needs, uh, uh, it needs World of Warcraft. Oh. Hand me that one. We're gonna, we're gonna play some WoW. We're gonna do some raiding. Hand me that, you got it? It's a big file. It's a big file. There we go. That's World of Warcraft. And I hand it off to the CPU, but I'm gonna hang on to this. Oh, he wants to play WoW again. Here we go. Oh, he's playing, this guy play, was, plays, I'm just gonna hang on to this. He plays WoW a lot. Okay. We don't need that one anymore though. You can have that back. Okay. Thank you. So it's, it works a lot like a cache, but the thing is I'm gonna hold on to in my buffer or cache all of the most frequency, frequently used files and programs so that instead of going back to you, I'm just gonna keep it and hand it off. And then when something new is needed, I'll come to you and then I'll hang on to it. And as time goes on, I'll learn behaviors and then some of your behaviors are disturbing. Let me just put that out there. But I'll learn your behaviors and I'll probably seek therapy at the end of all of it. And then what will happen is as things are used less frequently, I'll kind of push that back. And then I will hang on again to the most frequently used files. That in a little skit, in a terrible skit, is basically what's happening. We tried, we tried so hard. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why you're getting even better speeds than this traditional SSD, at least in our testing configuration. We did have a quirk though when we were installing this that took me a while to get past, but I was able to actually work through it, where I was actually installing the wrong installer because by following their links down below and, and take my note of this, what I'm about to tell you, they say use the uh, setup optane memory.exe file. The problem is there's several different installation suites. I don't know what the differences are between them, but uh, I was using the wrong one and they all have the exact same file name, so I didn't catch it until later. But I did finally get it working and it was pretty simple at that point. It reboots, it uh, makes sure that RST is turned on in your BIOS, and then it will ask, do you want to accelerate your system with Optane? You'd be like, heck yes I do, and then it reboots again, and you're good to go and you get the results that we just saw. But with all that out of the way, for about $170 here, you're able to get massive amounts of storage at the speeds of an SSD. Not bad at all. Now there is also something else you need to keep in mind though, is the Optane is only gonna be able to accelerate whichever drive has your OS on it. So if you have multiple hard drives, so you have games on one drive and then you have the OS on, OS on another one, it's only gonna accelerate the drive with the OS on it. So keep that in mind. So that's it. Tell me what you guys think about the Intel Optane memory. I think for people on a budget that want mass storage and good speed, it's definitely worth taking a look at. The amount of speed increase and the amount of time decrease of opening just random programs and restarts and, and shutting down windows was definitely tangible. Like it was extremely tangible. There was no margin about it. So again, a huge thank you to both Intel and Seagate for sponsoring today's video and making it possible. Links are in the description guys, places where you can buy and how to learn more about Intel Optane. Check it out. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.